Those documents go into great detail about how the government was trying to hack phones, trying to hack tablets, even smart TVs. But now when you dig deeper into the document, buried way deep in there, is about how the government was also looking into hacking vehicles. But it turns out hackers have already been doing it. There's a gadget out there right now that allows people to use a little remote control and get into your car undetected, even start your engine. And that's not all. There are a couple of hackers who've even been able to take over a car remotely while it's driving down the highway. And it's all caught on video this morning. The powerful demonstrations you need to see before you head out today. As this SUV drives down the highway, these two hackers are pulling off the unthinkable. No matter what happens, don't panic. Taking control of it wirelessly, even turning the wheel. Other hackers opening car doors with ease using this little gadget. Now, WikiLeaks claims the government was working on hacking cars too. The CIA was looking at infecting the vehicle control system used by modern cars and trucks. The purpose of such control is not specified. The new leaked documents quoting a meeting of the CIA's embedded devices branch. Potential mission areas include vehicle systems. But hackers have already done it. Wired Magazine first exposing the danger in 2015. So first we're going to turn the fan on him. The driver of this Jeep Cherokee losing I control. Know, Something just turned on all the fans and AC and stuff. I didn't do that. These two hackers say they're controlling the car remotely, turning on the windshield wipers, turning on the radio. The air conditioning is blasting, the music is blasting, and I can't see anything because of the windshield wiper fluid. The hackers even controlling the steering, then going even further. Kill the engine. So we're killing the engine right now. I actually can't accelerate. It says 43 miles an hour, but I'm not going that fast. Responding to that video, the maker of Jeep telling NBC News it's committed to the safety and security of our vehicles. We continue to take proactive steps to address cyber risks, adding the vulnerability discovered by those hackers has been eliminated. Jason Tans, your Wired site director. Watching that video was frightening for me as a driver, and I'm sure a lot of people watching right now. How vulnerable are we? Well, it is frightening because if these guys are doing it, you have to assume that other people are too. And one of the things we learned from the WikiLeaks uh, dump was that, in fact, the CIA is looking into ways of doing this as well. So I think it's probably safe to assume that we're pretty vulnerable. You are even vulnerable when you're away from your car. Hackers now cloning wireless key fobs remotely. I tried it out in December. The door is completely locked, but when I hold this up to the door, look, I open the door right up. And that's not all. With this device, watch this. Yes, I just started the car. So now I'm a thief in your car, driving away within seconds, all because of this little device. It's terrifying how fast this is. Wow. And it's not just this car. Experts using the device on car after car after car, breaking into and even starting 17 different makes and models. The Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers told NBC News protecting vehicle access and security continue to be top priorities, and automakers have been working on multiple fronts to address security and enhance it. Bottom line, what's the takeaway here? Well, as we get more and more internet connected devices in our houses, you know, smart cars, smart refrigerators, smart washing machines, we have to assume that every one of those things is going to be vulnerable to hackers. Here's the thing, hackers are smart and they are fast at coming up with new ways to control our stuff. The car companies are really trying their best to keep up. So here's the takeaway for you. If you get a software update, if your car is connected to the, to the internet wirelessly and you get a software update from the car company, from your washing machine company, anything connected to the internet and you authenticate the software upgrade is from the company guys, you wanna download that update immediately before you hit the road because it could contain some important hack fixes. Mm. All right, good information, Jeff. Thank you Thanks, so Jeff. much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.